Tom Laughlin was a unique talent who left a lasting impression on the film industry with his portrayal of the iconic character Billy Jack. He was one of the few Renaissance men to grace show business. His wife Dolores Taylor was his co-star in several films and had a great story herself. Laughlin was a filmmaker, writer, and political activist using his platform to address important social issues. Join Factsverse to learn more about the tragic death of Tom Laughlin and his beloved wife. Tom Laughlin was a multifaceted personality who led a fascinating life beyond his work in the Billy Jack films. Tom was born August 10, 1931, and grew up in Milwaukee, where he attended Washington High School. He later went to Marquette University on a football scholarship, but was expelled in his sophomore year for fighting. After leaving college, he went to Hollywood to pursue his dream of becoming an actor. He landed small roles in films like South Pacific and Gidget, among several others. What made him stand out was the fact that he could create a character rather than just play one. While we might take this for granted now, it was rather rare back in the day. In 1963, he starred in the film The Delinquents, which he also produced and co-wrote. The film was a moderate success and helped establish him as a creative force in Hollywood. He began getting more roles in films and had the occasional role on television. While work was regular, however, he hadn't made an impact that he wanted to. Laughlin's career took a major turn in the 1970s when he created the character of Billy Jack, but his work as an actor, writer, and producer extended beyond the iconic character. He wrote and directed the film The Trial of Billy Jack in 1974, which dealt with the issue of Native American rights. The film was a commercial success but was panned by critics. Tom Laughlin was also a political activist and ran for president in 1992 and 2004. His campaign focused on issues like campaign finance reform, tax reform, and the war on drugs. Though he didn't win either election, he used his platform to bring attention to these issues. He wasn't afraid to speak against many of the issues of the day and didn't hesitate to ruffle feathers. And a man this brave and talented, of course, had to have a great woman by his side. Dolores Taylor Dolores Taylor was an actress, writer, and producer who gained fame for her work in the series she acted, wrote, and produced alongside her husband Tom. She was born in Winter, South Dakota, September 27, 1932 and she grew up near a Native American reservation. Dolores Taylor had a passion for acting from a young age and decided to pursue it. Her first love, however, was graphic design, and this was the career she followed. But in college, she met Tom and the two became a couple. In 1967, they co-produced and starred in the film The Born Losers. Her role was small, but she enjoyed working on the film and working with her husband. Afterwards, she took on the role of Jean Roberts in the Billy Jack film series. She appeared in all four films, including Billy Jack, The Trial of Billy Jack, Billy Jack Goes to Washington, and The Return of Billy Jack. Taylor's portrayal of Jean Roberts was groundbreaking for its time. She was a strong, independent woman who stood up for what she believed in and fought for justice alongside Billy Jack. The character was a reflection of Taylor's own beliefs, and she used her platform to advocate for issues like Native American rights, peace, and social justice. Taylor's work in the entertainment industry was recognized with several awards and nominations, including a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Drama for her role in Billy Jack. She was also inducted into the South Dakota Hall of Fame in 1996. She also co-produced the film The Master Gunfighter. She retired from acting in the 80s to focus on her family and philanthropy. Her husband continued to act and appear in show business while she stepped out of the limelight. Billy Jack The Billy Jack series of films consists of four movies, all of which were directed by Tom, who also starred as the titular character. Tom became aware of Native American issues during his youth, and his wife Dolores grew up near an Indian reservation and was also aware of their strife. The series began with The Born Losers in 67, followed by Billy Jack in 1971. The films were known for their controversial and politically charged themes, as well as their depiction of Native American culture and social justice issues. The Born Losers introduced the character of Billy Jack, a half-Navajo ex-Green Beret who defends a group of young women from a gang of bikers led by Danny Carmody, Jeremy Slate. Billy Jack is arrested and jailed, but when Danny and his gang are released on bail and continue to harass the town, Billy is forced to take matters into his own hands. The film was a low-budget production that gained a cult following and led to the creation of the Billy Jack character. 
Billy Jack is considered the most famous film in the series, and this is the film that the character was really realized. It's in the film that Dolores went on to play a bigger role, playing his lover, Gene, having previously only played a pedestrian in the previous film. The film centers around the conflict between Billy Jack and the wealthy townspeople of a small Arizona town who are abusing Native American children. Billy Jack becomes a protector of the children and leads a violent confrontation against corrupt authorities. The Trial of Billy Jack was released in 1974 and was a more ambitious production than the previous films. It dealt with themes of peace, social justice, and Native American rights. The film centers around the trial of Billy Jack, who's charged with the murder of a police officer. The trial becomes a media sensation and leads to a larger examination of the state of the country and its social issues. The final film in the series, Billy Jack Goes to Washington, was released in 1977 and was an adaptation of the classic film Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. That one was directed by Frank Capra, one of Tom Laughlin's influences. In the film, Billy Jack is appointed to the U.S. Senate after the death of a senator. He quickly discovers the corruption and greed of the political system and fights against it with his trademark mix of martial arts and nonviolence. The Billy Jack films were known for their use of non-professional actors, naturalistic dialogue, and gritty cinematography. They also dealt with controversial themes like racism, police brutality, and political corruption. The films were popular with counterculture audiences and inspired a generation of socially conscious filmmakers. They were also notable for their portrayal of Native American culture and their advocacy for Native American rights. The films weren't without their controversies, though. The film's depiction of violence, particularly in Billy Jack, was criticized by some for being excessive and glorifying vigilantism. The films were also accused of inaccurate cultural depictions and simplifying complex social issues. The Tragic Death of Tom Laughlin and His Beloved Wife Tom Laughlin died December 12, 2013, at age 82. He had been in poor health for several years prior to his death, suffering from complications related to pneumonia. Laughlin's daughter confirmed his passing and praised her father as a true American maverick. Dolores Taylor, Laughlin's wife and frequent collaborator, passed away March 23, 2018, at age 85. She had been battling dementia in the years leading up to her death. They are both survived by their three children and a small but powerful library of films, as well as a legacy of activism and standing up for what's right. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Tom Laughlin? What did you think of his Billy Jack series? Let us know in the comments section below.